What is going on YouTube? I'm Lamont at large. Today I'm in the south end of San Antonio, Texas. We're rocking by the intersection of Sunday School and Charisma. I'm here to show you a location of a very distasteful and horrible, horrible video. Why do people do the things that they do? Can you blame age in this story? I have no idea. A very disturbing and distasteful video uh, that I just watched. I'm going to tell you the story really quickly of what happened right down this road here. At or around July 26th of 2021, uh, two teenage girls, 16 and 17, were walking in this area when down below, which is a drainage ditch or a culvert, something along those lines, they seen something that you and me never in our lives would want to see, and that is a dead body. They immediately ran, called 911. 911 comes out here, and they do confirm that the man is dead. He was later identified as 25-year-old Marcus Adams. And in an online interview, his mother, Aisha Adams, said that her son was energetic, funny, uh, fun-loving, and just loved keeping busy and being outdoors. Uh, he was the oldest of six siblings. And even though I don't have any children, I can't even imagine uh, that uh, painful moment when you hear somebody call you and they tell you that your son has been found dead. And especially, I'm sure it hurts even more when it was done by his own hand. Oftentimes, we don't know when people make such drastic decisions. We don't know, you know, one day you're smiling, one day everything is fine. And next thing you know, you're being contacted by the county coroner's office. So they come and they claim the body. You would think that would be the end of the story, but what the two girls failed to tell the police when they called them was that one of them had stolen a necklace with a pendant that was around his neck. So these, I'm gonna try to not uh, say anything too bad about them, but watching that video, can make any person, even if you're more along the lines of an unsympathetic person when it comes to just everything, I mean, even that one is very sad and very tough to watch. You watched a young girl who was very stupid and just dumb, uncaring, who is laughing as she is trying to not touch Marcus's body and takes the chain from around his neck. The other girl who, as far as I know, the only name that I know that she goes by is Trinity. That name could be wrong. I don't know. Uh, that was something I seen on Reddit. So these two girls, before they called 911, they called a male friend of theirs then they all went down to look at this man just hanging there dead. So they decided to steal the charm, steal the pendant, the necklace. And then they just leave and then they called 911. Now, they took this video and to uh, become a little popular debutantes, they posted that video on Snapchat and of course that video uh, on Snapchat went absolutely viral and sad to say that some of the family members of Marcus uh, seen that video it must be very distressing to see your own child uh, lifeless like that and have uh, two wretched little demons uh, laughing thinking that it's funny that this man had you know mental problems and what have you and then they did that so somebody calls the police and says, hey, 
uh, there's, there's a video of two girls stealing a dead man's chain and pendant. So the San Antonio Police Department, they see the video and then they recognize the girl on the video as one 17 year old Bethany Martin. She's the one that called the police. So they make contact with Bethany Martin and they go to her home. I'm imagining she lives not very far from here. And they said, yeah, we've seen a video on Snapchat. And in this video, it appears to be you laughing, stealing this man's chain. And she admitted it. She said, yeah, I did it. And they said, well, why would you do that? And she said, well, my friend liked it. And then they interviewed the friend, the 16 year old whose identity I'm not too sure about. And she says, well, I liked it because, quote, it matched my fashion style. Matched her fashion style. Okay. This is the location of where that crime was committed. You can see from a still of the video that about over a year and a half later that you can pretty much match the graffiti and he would have been right here. So the San Antonio Police Department arrested Bethany Martin and charged her as an adult. So now she has an adult record for the rest of her life. So good on them. And they arrested the 16 year old who I'm believing her name. She goes by Trinity, but she was charged as a juvenile. That's why I'm not sure about her identity. So, uh, both, both, uh, girls were charged with theft to a human corpse. Now, uh, Bethany was taken to jail and uh, she was released on a $2,000 bond. And I'm pretty sure she didn't stay in jail uh, very long. And I'm not 100% sure what happened to the case at the recording of this video. Uh, she, for all I know, she could have had her record sealed. Uh, maybe they at first charged her as an adult, but if she completed maybe six months of probation, they would have moved it back to her juvenile record and then that will be sealed. But I tell you what, uh, Bethany, I'm sure eventually you will be watching this video. Uh, it doesn't matter if your record is sealed. Uh, I'm sure your parents have told you, oh, don't worry about it. You know, maybe they scolded you. Maybe they grounded you, whatever it is that they did. I hope they did something. I hope they did something because your name is on social media forever. Now, every time, every time, because, you know, everybody, everybody Googles everybody, right? So now, whether you meet a, 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 a boyfriend or you get a job or whatever, people that know you, they're going to be Googling you. And when they Google you, what you did right here, right, right in back of me, that poor man, that poor man that, you know, was going through some, some personal pains and traumas in his life. They're going to see, they're going to read this story. They're going to watch this video and they're going to see that video that's still online of you doing that to him. And part of me wants to, you know, like box this girl's ears, like, like grab her by the ear. Like, what are you doing? And I know young people do stupid things all the time. I know it. I read the stories all the time. But to do that to somebody at their most vulnerable, which is when you are dead, you can no longer fend for yourself. And to laugh. And then the mother has to Watch the video of you laughing at her son. It's not a good look on you. It's not a good look on your parents. It's not a good look on your family. And I don't know who they are, nor do I care. 
But uh, all I can really say is at the end of the day, shame on you for that. Shame on you. That was one of the most foulest videos I've ever watched. I think I have, I don't know, I, some videos I can, I can watch and I, I don't, I'm just like, whatever, you know, and people often, they make big deals out of certain, watching certain videos. Oh, that's horrible. That's terrible. You know, we're all different people, right? But to watch that video. And to know that that Marcus walked where I'm walking at right now and he had a mission and the mission was to end his life and he had nobody to turn to so he thought so a lot of people who are in that position think and he died alone by himself with nobody around him nobody that loved him and the only people that found him were thieves who stole from him. That is tragic. That is absolutely tragic. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I got to go. I got to hit the road. I'll catch up with you all in the next video. Peace out.